everyone! Welcome to a new series on my channel. Um, it's going to be all about Disney cruising. So we discovered Disney Cruise Line three years ago, two years ago. Um, we never thought we were cruising, cruising people, um, but we love Disney World. We used to go almost every year, every other year huge Disney fan and so um, you know we thought we'd give it a go I read a lot of really great things about it online needless to say we are hooked we are fanatics and so that's why I just wanted to start a little series based on tips and tricks for Disney cruising okay so we're gonna cover two topics in the video today and one is not so big but still kind of cool the other one is a big part of Disney cruising so the first one is door decorating. That's right. On the Disney Cruise Line, um, all of the doors are um, actually steel, and so therefore they are magnetic. And um, one of the things that you can do on the Disney Cruise is decorate your door. Now, Disney asks that you don't use anything that could um, mark or damage or destroy the door. So that means no tape, no adhesive, nothing sticky. But you can use magnets. Um, you can buy these um, rolls of magnetic tape either on Amazon or at your local craft store or you can buy little magnet rounds that you can attach. Um, I found the magnetic tape to be the easiest. This is one inch thick magnetic tape and all you need to do is cut it to the width that you need or the length that you need and stick it to the back of your decorations. So why would you want to decorate your door? So on the cruise ship every door looks the same and one of the things that um, the magnets on the door really helps is that when you're walking down the long corridor you're able to find your room really easy without having to remember your number every time and um, it can also help it's also really fun it can show your personality um, it's just you know it's really exciting I love walking down the hallways and seeing how people decorate their doors not everybody does it um, but a fair amount of people do and it's usually the people that have been on more than one cruise because once you're hooked you're going and then you're going to dive right in. So for our door, the most recent cruise, um, it was actually really easy. I just googled some images and um, used some Photoshop and was able to actually design some of my own to use for the door and just went and laminated it with some um, five mil thickness laminate and I'll show you what I have here. Um, one of the ones that I made was a little uh, porthole with some minions in it and um, this actually I made my set, well, sort of designed myself so I found the image of the porthole on Google and just copy and pasted these minions right into the middle here so it looks like when you stick this to your door it looks like the minions are underwater. Um, so that was one of the magnets that I made. Um, another one that I made was using a website that I will link down below. I I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head and I should have looked it up before the video but I didn't. Um, but basically what you do is you type in a bunch of words, um, phrases, anything like that and you can pick a silhouette. So you can pick from some pre-made ones that they already have or you can enter your own. So obviously I chose a Mickey head. Um, entered things on here like Disney Dream which was the ship that we sailed on. Aqueduct, the year, the sailing date, the names of some of the restaurants, Castaway Key, anything that you want you can put in there. So um, that was one of the other magnets. So depending on the size of the paper the, that you use, um, the image that you use, that will determine how much of a magnet base you need to have on the back. So obviously the heavier the paper, the more magnets you'll need to put. Now Disney does a really great job of maintaining their doors and all of their um, property and so that means a lot of paint. So on the older ships um, it's definitely a little bit more difficult to get your magnets to adhere to the door so make sure that you are very generous with your magnetics on those items especially if you're on one of the older ships. One of the other things that I created um, that I was able to do was find um, uh, an online resource where someone had actually gone in and taken some imagery. Um, one of my favorite Disney movies is Tangled so I went ahead and um, found a J that they were able to go ahead and put some Tangled imagery in. So this one I have a couple magnets on the back. All of these all of these held up perfectly fine on the door and so you can get an idea. We were on the Dream which is one of the newer ships but you can get an idea about how much magnetics you'll need on the back of your paper based off of the size of these. Another really fun thing to do is to decorate your, um, what do they call that? Boop, boop. 
people, people, people. Um, online you can actually find, and I'll link it down below on a website called called Disboards. There is a, a forum there where you can find anything you need to know about Disney cruising. But one of the really great things on there is that there's a forum post with a bunch of really cool images that you can just print at home yourself. They're free. Print it home yourself and laminate and put around the peephole on your door. Um, here's a picture of what it looks like. So one of the ones that we did was Donald Duck. Actually, <laughs> that looks ridiculous. So this goes on the bottom. There's a circle in the middle here. And then on the top, you can see his hat is actually in two pieces. Um, just because of the size, the measurements that you need, it will not fit on a single um, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. But easy enough to do, you're gonna go ahead and put your magnets on the back. And then when you stick it up on your door, it looks really cool. It looks like a Donald Duck head that goes around the outside of your peephole there. One of the other things that is really handy to have for the outside of your door is a dry erase board. Now, we were lucky enough on our last cruise to be Silver Castaway members, which means that we've been on at least one Disney cruise. So we were actually given a stateroom gift when we arrived in our room on our last cruise. And one of the things that was included in the gift was this really cool dry erase board. And so what you can do is just stick this to the outside of your door. It's magnetic, the whole sheet is magnetic. And it also comes with a dry erase marker that also has a magnet on it. So you can go ahead and, um, you know, write a little note on there to let your family know that, you know, you're not in the room. And if you get split up, this is where you're gonna be. For me, my note always said, <laughs> eating ice cream on deck 11. Um, all you can eat soft serve ice cream all the time. Anyway, but yeah, those are some really great things that you can put on your door just to really help demonstrate your personality. And you know, like I said, make it a little easier to find your room when you're coming back after um, a late night pirate party or something like that. One of the other big parts of a Disney cruise that not too many people know about, um, at unless they've been on more than one, is something called Fish Extender. And so Fish Extender is basically a gift exchange that you can sign up for with members of your cruising group. And you can either sign up on a Facebook group or again on that Disboard website that I mentioned. There's usually a thread that is specific to your individual cruise. And a lot of times people will start a sign up group where you can go in and sign up to do a gift exchange. Now, depending on the group, there are sometimes different rules. I prefer to do groups that don't really have any rules um, it just makes it more fun and less less stressful outside of the doors on the classic ships there are little fish hooks where the cast members on the ship can leave you notes or messages and so when that group decided that hey this would be a great place to hang little pouches where we can deliver gift exchange items to each other that is basically where the first fish extender gift exchange became um, into being so Nowadays, the newer ships have things like seahorses and I think starfish out there, but it still sticks to the fish extender name. So basically what you do with the fish extender is you can either go online to places like Etsy or eBay um, and buy a, um, a pouch or you can go ahead and make your own. Um, for this time, I made my own. now. Um, I had never made one before, I didn't have a pattern, I really just kind of, you know, uh, went for it <laughs> with the best of my crafting abilities. So, um, here I'm actually gonna... So here is our pouch that I made. Um, at the top it's got our family name and I just used some uh, iron on paper and printed out this image um, of Nemo and Dory and Marlin. So you can do it a couple different ways. You can make a pouch for every member of your family, or you could just do one big pouch for your stateroom itself. So we made them for each member of our family. So uh, you can see they all have different themes. Um, this one's a Dory, there's a Marlin, I made a Nemo one. And uh, this hangs on the outside of your door and the people that participate in your group come around and deliver gifts. So they will drop them into your um, into your pouch here and you never know when you're gonna get them, that's the fun part. When you come back to your stateroom, um, you could have 50 gifts or you could have one gift or you could have no gifts, you never really know what's gonna happen. And some groups have rules where um, everybody delivers on a different day so that way you're getting gifts throughout the cruise or um, there's no rules and you can basically just deliver them whenever you want to. I'm gonna show you a couple of the Fish Extender gifts I put together for my last cruise that we took in October of 2014? Yeah, October 2014. Some of them I had extras so 
I still have some that are um, here physically to show you, but some of them I'll just insert some pictures so that way you can see uh, the things that I created for my group. So in our group, we had about, I think we capped it at 15 staterooms. Each stateroom had anywhere from two to four people in it. Now I decided to do individual gifts for the children that were in our group and individual gifts for the men and for the women with a couple stateroom gifts thrown in there too. So one of the things that I created was a wave phone holder. And what this basically is is a little cell phone pouch. On the ships, in each stateroom, you have two what's called a wave phone, and it's basically um, a portable phone that you can use on the ship to call stateroom to stateroom, and it's also um, can be used for texting capability. Now it's like basically like the old T9 texting where you're like one 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 four 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 three three two two two, trying to spell out words. Um, I'm dating myself, but yeah, it, so it does take a while to text and Disney has created an app where you can use the onboard Wi-Fi just for messaging with each other without being charged for any data rates. But when we had done the cruise, it was just starting out and it really wasn't great. We didn't get notifications that we received a text. A lot of times the texts took a really long time to come through. So we basically just stopped using it altogether and stuck with our wave phones. So I found this really cool Mickey fabric at Hobby Lobby and um, found the measurements of the wave phone online and just basically crafted crafted these little phone holders. So the front is a clear vinyl so that way you can see if you've received any messages or not. Um, I inserted a little bit of an elastic band right at the top just to make sure that nothing fell out. I also sewed on a little ribbon um, hook here and on that I put through a little mini carabiner with a little key ring. So I started the key ring through the ribbon and then you can use the carabiner um, to attach to a belt loop, a purse strap, whatever um, you're going to use. I really enjoyed making these. I thought they were pretty handy and hopefully everybody that received them on the cruise ship enjoyed them. One of the other things that I created for the cruise was a reusable uh, cup. One of the great things about Disney Cruise Line is that the drinks are included with your fare. So you don't have to buy a drink package. There are drink stations up on deck that you can just help yourself to whenever you'd like. However, the cups that they give you are very small. They are, I think, just 12 ounce cups. And sometimes, you know, I get, you're getting really dehydrated throughout the day. And if you really just want like a big cup of water, it's really nice to have a larger style cup that you can just bring around with you. And so I got these at the dollar store, so they were literally just a dollar. And I have a silhouette cutting machine that I cut this vinyl, um, created just the little logo and the little keep calm and cruise on phrase. Cr uh, cut it with the vinyl and then just transferred it on. So gave all of these to everyone in the group. And then um, these were for all the adults in the group as well too. So all the adults got one of these and one of these. The children in the group, I put together, I'll show you a little picture here. I put together a little goodie bag basically. Um, I made a goodie bag out of um, paper bags for everybody in the group, but the children got a bunch of toys and prizes that I found at the dollar store. I also created these little pom-poms. When I was a kid, we always used to make these with my grandmother. Just yarn pom-poms, and I put about six of them in a baggie and became an indoor snowball fight. And since Frozen was such a huge theme at the time, I said, let's make it Olaf. So it's Olaf's indoor snowball fight. So the kids could throw these snowballs at each other in the stateroom if they got bored or you know, really just wanted to have some fun and not worry about making a mess or anybody getting hurt because they're literally just yarn. One of the other things that I made for the women in the group was a was a necklace, and it is one of the glass style necklaces. I don't know exactly what you call it, but basically you take a little glass square, um, print out a piece of paper with an image that you want, and I went for the same image that I used for the cup with the with the phrase "Keep Calm Cruise On," and found these really cool little silver Mickey key charms on um, Ally Express which were so cheap. I think I got like 50 of them for like $2, so it was really easy. So the necklaces went to all the women in the group, and those were basically the fish extender gifts that I created. So basically, I'm a huge advocate for Disney Cruise. If you're gonna go for it, go full force. Look for those fish extender groups. Don't be intimidated. I totally go overboard on my gifts just because I really like crafting and like having something to do. Um, so I probably um, went a little overboard with the gifts that I did, and um, Please don't feel like you have to go so crazy. Um, I got some really fun things, so people will also 
give you uh, gifts that are specific to their region. So we actually had somebody in our group that was from Ireland and she gave us these really cool magnets with Irish phrases on them, what I loved. We also got a lot of little bottles of booze, which um, Disney has actually changed their um, alcohol policy on board. So I don't know if that will continue to be something that people give, but that was really fun. Um, so that was really fun to do too with these cups is that you just go up on deck, grab yourself some soda, dump your uh, little mini bottle of vodka that you just received, Malibu rum or whatever you get into there, and you've got yourself a little drink that you can enjoy on your veranda. So super easy, super fun there. Um, yeah, that's basically it for fish extenders. Um, I really hope this is definitely a fun series that um, people will enjoy. So being part of the Castaway Club um, has its perks. So once you go, um, once you've cruised at least once, you become a Silver Castaway Club member. And then your next time on board, you actually get a little gift. So our gift was uh, that dry erase board that you saw. You also get a really cool lanyard, um, which I will never use. I'm not a lanyard person. Um, and then also, this was my favorite thing that we received, is this little tote bag that says Disney Cruise Line Castaway Club. And it's got really cool little rope handles. I use this all the time. So this was a really great little gift that we received. That's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's something a little bit different. Uh, I wanted to branch out a little bit and talk about some of the things that I really enjoy doing. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Stay tuned for my next um, Disney Cruise Line video installment, which will be more tips and tricks about how to really make the most out of your Disney Cruise experience. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.